Did you ever notice that sometimes it takes a long time to load your map in BeamNG? Well, the reason for that is uh, every time you're loading it for the first time, what it's doing is it's caching a bunch of the assets, the uh, script files, the materials, and it's putting them in a temp folder that lists, lives inside your current uh, directory. So you can see that when I did this just a moment ago, it actually generated this temp folder. And now when we look at the game when it loads, it's going to take a minute. Uh, and you're going to see, you probably have seen this in your 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 plays of BeamNG, but the, the assets themselves take quite a long time to render in. And a lot of times they're transparent. Uh, the cars are transparent. Not, they're not fully materialized yet. Let's take a look. Yeah, so notice that it took a few seconds for that van to actually appear and the level surrounding it. So now we've seen it load slowly. Let's try it again now that the temp folder has been generated. Go ahead and load it again. And we'll see if there's a difference between the speed that it loads. Sometimes I refer to this folder as a cache folder because it's kind of caching all of those files for quicker loading. Um, I believe sometimes it saves it to the RAM as well on the, uh, on the, on the GPU. Oh, so much quicker. So nothing, nothing was transparent. In a moment, a seconds, amount of amount of seconds it just took was uh, was very small, and it's loaded into the game. So this is great, but sometimes when you're a uh, map editor, you want to uh, modify the terrain. So let's say you do an import of a new height map, right? Uh, and we could dive into this in another video. But what happens is if the terrain folder, or the temp folder, is still in, uh, referencing the previous. Uh, cached files, when you change that import, it's not going to update correctly. So the best way to do it is to run a, you can either delete the folder itself and close it out and delete it. So right click it, click delete, and then uh, it'll regenerate it with the new updated terrain that you have. Or um, I like to use a batch file. So this is a temp delete.bat. And all this is, is a script that says echo off rev delete the bmg temp folder and then it gives you the directory uh slash s slash q and uh and then you list the file or the location that you want you want to delete be careful to make sure you specify that it has to be the temp folder right so then when you run this all it does is runs a script and lo and behold the temp folder just disappeared so a really quick easy way if you want to keep that on your desktop to delete the folders if you're in the process of making maps hope that helps